Hello? Hello. I've got more of a laid back sort of vlog style video today. I just got back from Vegas. Chris and I went and saw the Backstreet Boys and it was absolutely bananas. <laughs> Last, they're amazing. They were just so good. I swear they don't age, you know? They're just busting moves left, right, and center, singing like actual angels. For those of you who follow me on Instagram, you would have seen my 10,000 stories that I posted. Yeah, I felt like you guys were there with me, you know? Felt like we were in this together. I've actually seen them live before, but this was Chris's first time and he may have shed a couple tears. He'll never admit it. He'll just say that there is something in both of his eyes. Are you, are you crying? No, I just have something in both my eyes. I don't blame him because they put on a fabulous show. I don't know what their tour is gonna be like next year because by the way, they're going on tour next year because they have a new album coming out. I imagine that on their tour next year, they're gonna be playing a lot newer stuff with sprinklings of the older stuff. But in Vegas, they like hit you hard with the classics. Like I'm talking The Call, Everybody, We've Got It Going On, Incomplete, Shape of My Heart, all the good stuff. I'm still recovering from that emotionally I've watched back all my stories maybe 50 times like every day that I've woken up since the concert I've laid there in bed listening to their music it was a really emotional time for me as a kid when I first discovered the Backstreet Boys because we just moved from Romania I was like learning how to speak English their lyrics just they got me through some tough times you know at 31 years old I still feel the same emotions listening to them it's incredible what the hell was I saying yeah so we're back from Vegas now I had bought a book bunch of Christmas shit, but I left it all in bags because I knew I was gonna do a haul. And then when um, we got back, I continued to buy shit and they're in bags as well. So my whole living area is looking like a really festive dumpster. Just a lot of white bags with Christmas things poking out of them. I'm looking forward to doing this haul and then decorating. I might actually even include a little decorate with me montage in this video. All right, let's do this shit. I like to do my Christmas hauls in the living room because Louie loves to be a part of them. He just goes through the bags. He thinks everything is for him. So we're gonna do the first portion out here. I think I'm gonna start with this little guy because this is one of the prettiest things I have ever found. Look at this beautiful ass little gift. As soon as I saw it, it had to be mine. I think I might put it on my dinner table. How freaking pretty is this? It's so unique. It's unlike anything I have ever owned. This was $29.99. I got this from HomeSense. I picked up some stuff for my baking. I got a new rolling pin. The one that I have right now is marble and it's really heavy and it's just sometimes a pain in my ass to roll out my dough with. So I got just a simple wood one. A little pastry blender. This is to cut my butter into my flour when I'm making sugar cookies. A bash and chop. This is to chop, scoop, and transfer foods. I mainly got this to slice up my dough when I'm baking or to scrape dough off of my baking area. Sometimes the dough gets stuck, it's super annoying, so I feel like this is gonna help me. I also got some wine glasses. These are adorable. I think I'm gonna use these for eggnog. They're stemless and they have a gold rim as well as these little gold speckles all over. I just love this look. I think they're so cute. It's nice to switch it up once in a while. All my wine glasses have stems and I've wanted stemless ones for a while. I felt like these were a good deal. These were $14.99. I think they're hand wash only. For somebody who hand washes almost everything, I somehow always manage to put shit that's not meant for the dishwasher into the dishwasher, so note to self, don't be an asshole. I saw this little dude yesterday and I was on the fence about him and then Chris just threw it into our cart because he was in one of those like YOLO moods where everything that's cute would end up in the cart. <laughs> I think I'm gonna put this on the dinner table. I'm gonna find something festive to put inside of these little jars, but how freaking adorable is this? It kind of goes with the whole theme that we've got going on. We have flocked wreaths. We have another flocked thing that I gotta show you that you're gonna need to help me with because I have no idea what this thing is, but I really like it. So I bought 
bought it, but I don't know where to put it. Hold on one second, I'm gonna go get it. Ta-da! So this is identical to the wreath that we bought last year, but it's in this elongated shape. Like, do you hang this on the wall? Do you put it on the dinner table? Like, what do you do with it? It looks like you hang it because it has a little loop in the back. And I'm so confused. Where do you hang it? It's such an interesting shape. So if you guys could help a girl out in the comments, that would be greatly appreciated. This was $34.99. This beauty is our new wreath. Um, hey, that's not food. I'm hoping that it will actually make it on the door this year. Like last year we bought a wreath and it was so freaking pretty that we didn't want to put it on the door outside because we were scared it was gonna get stolen. So I just hung it in the freaking kitchen and I've left it there all year because it's so pretty. I didn't want to take it down. So this year I decided to get another one that's pretty but not as pretty as the one in the kitchen. And I'm really hoping to hang it up on the door. Part of me thinks it's gonna end up in the house again, but I'm gonna really push myself to hang this outside. Cause the one that we have now just doesn't go with the whole theme. You know, this goes with this, goes with this, you know, it's just kind of all tying together. Louis, stop it. Maybe it was a bad idea to film this out here. A few moments later. Louis went balls to the wall out there and lost his backstage VIP passes to this party. So we've moved it all into my office. Moving around, oh. <laughs> Yeah, I can explain those four mugs uh, that I said I wasn't gonna buy anymore. They just ended up in my cart and it was too late. By the time I got to the checkout, you know, shit happens. So I got these two here. Oh, they're adorable. This reminds me a lot of National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. The inside says fa la la. Could you say no to this? If you could, you're a saint, okay? I couldn't say no to them. This one's got a Christmas tree on it with some lights. Just adorable. Do I have room for them? No. Will I find room? Yes. Got a couple more. These two were not my idea. These were all Chris. One on the left is his, has a couple hockey sticks on it. He loves his hockey. And this one is mine and it says, let it snow. And they are the perfect size. All four mugs were from Superstore and I think they're like five bucks each. I found these two cute little succulents at the dollar spot in Target. Kind of looks like they've been dusted with a little bit of snow. Has frozen a little bit, looks kind of icy, looks kind of snowy. I just love them. I think I'm gonna use this one for my coffee station and this one for my centerpiece and these were three bucks. I have an uncontrollable urge to purchase tiny things. This includes makeup, household items, decorations. Look at these adorable little snow globes. They are the most precious little things. This one has a house and a tree. This one is a Christmas tree with decorations and snow all over it. And then this little guy is a snowman. And I haven't yet decided where I wanna put these. I think one of them's gonna go at my coffee station. The other ones are gonna go on my centerpiece. And these were $5 each, which is a little bit steep in my opinion for little tiny snow globes, but they're so cute that I've justified it in my mind. I found these at the Target dollar spot as well. They're supposed to be adhesive wood shapes that you would put on presents. But what I'm gonna do with these is I'm gonna stick them all over my chalkboard like I did with the little pumpkins that I found in the fall time. So. I think these will look really cute. $3. Another Target dollar spot item. These are little fairy lights that are in the shape of Christmas lights. I haven't tried them out yet. They were $3 and what I wanted to do is uh, hang them around the little letter board in my kitchen at my coffee station. I think they'll look real cute if I can ever get them untangled. I saw this, I picked it up, I had a good chuckle and then I put it in my cart. I feel like this will look really cute at the coffee station and if you can't tell, this is a coffee cup with a little plaid sleeve on it that says Yule Fuel. What's Christmas without some festive smelling poopery for the shitter? This one is in the scent Merry Spritzmas. If you guys haven't used this before, I highly recommend it. I use it when I travel. I have purchased this for my office before because people were taking major dumps and not using air freshener and there were no windows or ventilation. You just have to bask in other people's poop particles. So what this is, is something that is gonna change your life for the better and you're welcome in advance. This is like a poo spray, so <laughs> before you go, you spray three or four shots of this in the toilet. You go because the spray has created like a layer of oil. The odor cannot penetrate through that oil, so it stays inside the bowl. You don't have to worry about the person after you wondering what you had for lunch. The verbiage on this one in particular made me chuckle. There was once a jolly old soul who needed to drop some coal, so he spritzed the bowl prior, put out his Yule log fire and enjoys stink-free North Pole.
people to believe give it a jolly shake, spritz three to five sprays into the porcelain sleigh on the water's surface, proceed to drop a coal as usual. The whole marketing behind this is great. And it's basically just like essential oils. It's peppermint, vanilla, and citrus. This one says it's a Mary Spritzmas scent. All the ones that I've used all kind of smell the same. They all kind of have a vanilla, citrus, lavender scent. And I can't really tell the difference. Maybe it's because usually I'm stressed out when I'm spraying it because I feel like somebody's gonna be on to me. But I mean, it's a lot better smelling this than the other stuff, if you know what I'm saying. You can find these pretty much anywhere these days. I think it was like 10 bucks. All right, this is not Chris's finest purchase. This is an indoor, outdoor. What on earth even is this? Is this a tree? Is it branches? What is it? It looks really sad. It looks like a whole lot of nothing, to be honest, but I have an idea of what to do with it. So I'll keep you posted on that one. So this is uh, this is Chris's purchase. I thought it was a tree. <laughs> How do we feel about it? I don't like it. <laughs> what are we gonna do with it? <laughs> Repurpose it. Repurpose it? Where? To the recycling bin. <laughs> <laughs> Now, this little dude, he's cute. Chris redeemed himself with this one. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it just yet. I don't even know if I wanna put any lights or decorations on it. It's kinda cute as is. Just another one of those things he tossed in the cart without really thinking it through. And it was $29.99 from HomeSense. Also from HomeSense, I picked up this white poinsettia frosty looking flower. And then I got two of these frosty bejeweled branches. I'm trying to be really careful with them because the second I pick one up, it rains glitter all over my rug. I'm hoping to create some kind of flower arrangement for my dinner table with these. I think I need a couple more things. Ideally, I'd love to find some flocked branches or something like that. Each one of these was $7.99. The flower was $9.99. Last but not least, I got this throw for the couch. I got this from Chapters, surprisingly enough, and I think it was 30% off. Man, stuff at Chapters is so cute, but so overpriced. It's got little reindeer on it. It's super fluffy on this side. And whenever I'm snuggled up on the couch with it, Louie will just come over and smother me. It's super weird. It's it's really not like him to do that. He's pretty independent. He plays hard to get. He doesn't give a fuck. But when this is on me, oh boy, he just, he turns into a pile of mush. So for that reason, I'm really happy with this purchase. Hi, hello, Irina from the future here. I went back to HomeSense and I got some more shit. <laughs> I found this adorable little wooden sign. I had to have it. I'm gonna put it up on a shelf where we store our wine. I think it's gonna look really cute. And it was $12.99. It looks kind of similar to the sign that I picked up last year for my coffee station. I felt like it was only fitting to get one for the wine station. I ran out of my vanilla extract and I always get it from HomeSense or Winners. Well, when I was in line, this little old lady was telling me that Madagascar vanilla is way better than regular vanilla extract. And apparently HomeSense only carries this around the holiday season and it's really hard to find because all the little bakers in the area come and clear off the shelves so I took that as a warning and I picked one up early thank you little old lady another random little purchase are these smart sweets gummy bears I was so excited to find these because I normally get these from GNC and they're about four dollars to five dollars a pop and these ones are $2.99 these are really really low sugar so there's only two grams of sugar in this entire bag and one bag equals same amount of fiber as six servings of vegetables. I really like these when my sweet tooth is acting up and my favorite flavor is the seriously sour. Remember earlier I was saying I'd love to find some kind of flocked branch material with pine cones for a flower arrangement? Well, I found one and I absolutely love it. I wish it was a little bit more flocked. I wish there was more snow on it. I could always add some on my own. And this one was $8.99. Okay, this I'm very excited about. It looks similar to the little present that I got the other day. I'm thinking of putting this up on the fireplace mantle that Chris and I have been eyeing on target.com. We're probably gonna order it sometime next week and put it in our dining room area. And I feel like this will look so pretty on top of the mantle with our stockings underneath. This little guy is $39.99 and it also lights up. So I'm super excited for that. I just gotta add some batteries to the end. I'm gonna upload this vlog way before I order the fireplace mantle. So I'm gonna have to update you on the dining room situation, but I think it's gonna look so cute. We got this little nutcracker for Chris's dad because uh, he's a big fishing guy. And this little nutcracker is also fishing. He's got a little fishing rod, a little fishing hook, a little bucket with a tiny little fish in it. Chris, I am your father. 
Not really, his dad's a Japanese man with black flow and salt and pepper facial hair, but it's a thought that counts. Picked up a bag of this buffalo snow. It's got little glitters throughout it. I'm gonna use this pretty much all over the house to cover up that little centerpiece tray that I have on my dinner table right now from fall. What does it say on it again? Happy fall. I didn't wanna buy a new one, so I'm just gonna cover the happy fall up so that I can still use it to put shit on it. Also probably gonna use this around our TV and maybe on the fireplace mantle. I think it'll look really cute. Usually people use this for um, that, that shit you want with the little houses. It should say on the bag what it's called. Oh, the village scenes. Yeah, for village scenes. You know, like the little miniature houses and shit. I'm really great at words. <laughs> I made some of my spicy lentil soup that I love making around this time of year. And if you guys are new to my channel and you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'll post an I card somewhere here on the screen for a recipe for my spicy lentil soup. Normally I would put crushed up croutons on top, but I found these fried onions at Trader Joe's and they are absolutely delicious on top of this. So that's what I'm about to get into right now. I've watched this video on Instagram probably like 50 times tonight and I just can't stop. I need to share it with you. Forget about the dude in this video. Her laugh is everything. I always, I always say it's safe to have a crease. You have to talk about it and you have the courage to go and testify. Uh, it's Tell me why her laugh sounds just like me and my friends though. Luban, you're a model. Hmm? Hello, it's a new day. I'm just chilling today. I just got done cleaning the house because I'm getting ready to finally decorate. I was editing this video because I'm actually getting better at editing while filming vlog style shit simultaneously. Last year around this time, I really sucked at it and I learned my lesson. I'm trying to be better and I'm noticing that you guys are noticing that I'm trying to be better, which motivates me even more. What the hell was I? coming on here to tell you. Oh yes, at the beginning of this video, I forgot to mention that everything that I was wearing on my face was CoverGirl. And everything that I'm wearing on my face today is also CoverGirl. When I found out that CoverGirl went cruelty free, I asked you guys on Instagram what you recommend that I pick up from CoverGirl. I picked up a bunch of their stuff that I had not yet tried. And so far, I'm pretty happy with it. I'll talk about it more in a future video once I like really test it out and I have a full formed opinion on everything. But I did wanna share the lipstick that I was wearing at the beginning of this video and the lipstick that I had on earlier today that has completely worn off. I don't know what category this is, but it's their lipstick in number 340 Delicious. This is like my dream lipstick. This tone is perfect. It's like everything I could ever want in a lipstick. It's like a cool toned pinky mauve. Oh, I'm just absolutely obsessed. I am so happy that I picked this up. I love it and it's so comfortable. It's just gorgeous. So that's the only product that I'm gonna talk about. It's really buttery and creamy and just so flattering. I find that cool toned pinks look really nice on my skin tone with my hair. Anyway, super exciting stuff. Thought I'd mention what was on my face at the beginning of the video because I forgot to. 
and uh, I'll be talking more about the products that I picked up and what I think of them in a future video. Let me know what CoverGirl products you guys recommend in the comments below. I picked up like a hundred bucks worth of shit the other night, so I probably won't be buying stuff for a little while. I think that's all for now. Let's go decorate. So we just took our Christmas stuff out of storage and we realized we had a whole other wreath that we bought last year after Christmas. This is Louis's way of showing affection. He just runs around me in circles, literally just farts up a storm running around me. That's his way of marking his territory. It's also a way that they show affection by running around you in circles. Like as soon as I come out of my office, he'll come bolting over. And he'll do this maybe 40 times a day. Anytime Chris and I are in his view, he'll start up. Luban is just living his best life. Woo! Time for a ribbon. Two thousand years later. Took me a solid hour and a half. Hour and a half? What? How long? Hour. Really? Yeah. It took, I feel like, it's almost midnight. I feel like it took a really long time. Well, it felt like an hour and a half. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills! He kept running underneath the tree while I was putting the ribbon on and now he looks like a disco ball. He's got so much glitter in his fur that I'm gonna have to brush out. Mischievous little bun. Yeah, you. Let it snow. <laughs> You're a nut job. <laughs> I like how there's like flaps on this. <laughs> oh my god. Hole? <laughs> like, why not take the flaps off? I'm having way too much fun with this. Alright, party people. I think I'm gonna end it here. I'll probably do a part two with all of the stuff that I'm ordering online. And uh, yeah, this is the face that I'm leaving you with. Sweet dreams. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and staying subscribed. And I'll see you in my next one. Okay, love you, bye.